What time is it? It's prayer time. Today, as we approach the end of the year, it's natural to look back over the past months to remember our triumphs and acknowledge our challenges. We might even feel weary from the journey. Some of us might feel as though we have drifted from our goals. But today, I want to remind you of the power God gives us to finish this year strong. God has set before us a path and he has promised that he will walk with us every step of the way. In the book of Philippians 3.13, 14, the Bible states, Brothers and sisters, I do not not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Forgetting what is behind Paul's words in Philippians remind us to forget what is behind. Paul himself had a past filled with regrets, yet he chose not to be shackled by it. God isn't calling us to live in the past. He is calling us to press forward with our eyes on the goal, undistracted by what we cannot change. Let's remember that finishing strong means releasing our burdens from the past. God's grace covers us and allows us to leave behind the mistakes, the missed opportunities, and even the pain of yesterday. It's okay to reflect on our past to learn from it, but we must not dwell there. God's mercies are new every morning, and we can confidently take on tomorrow with fresh hope. Pressing forward with God's strength, straining toward what is ahead, speaks to the determination we need to finish strong. Notice that Paul doesn't say it's a casual stroll toward the goal. He uses the word strain. The journey isn't always easy, but God promises to strengthen us for it. If you feel weary or discouraged, remember that you're not relying on your own strength. Philippians Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. With God's power, we can press on despite the obstacles in our path. He's not only our destination, but also our strength to reach it. When we run this race with God, we are sustained by Him, revived by His Spirit, and empowered to press on. This means finishing our tasks at work with integrity, continuing to love and serve our families, and staying faithful to God's calling on our lives, fixing our eyes on the prize. Finishing strong isn't just about how we end the year. It's about having our hearts focused on Christ, the ultimate prize. We are encouraged to run with perseverance, knowing that God is faithful to complete the work he began in us. The prize isn't about worldly success or accolades. It's about living fully in God's purpose for our lives. When we focus on Jesus, our priorities shift. We become less worried about what the world values and more concerned with what pleases God. And this shift in focus fills us with joy peace and purpose. As we leave here today, let's carry this mindset of finishing strong into our daily lives. It doesn't require perfection. It just requires a heart that's willing to keep moving forward with God. Every day we have the choice to lean into his strength and let him guide our steps. Remember, God's mercies are new each morning and he walks with us through every challenge. So let's not give up on what he's placed in our hearts. Whether it's a personal goal, a relationship that needs healing, or a ministry he's called us to, let's commit to seeing it through with with faith and determination. Even if the road is hard, know that God is with you and he is faithful to complete the good work he has begun in each of us. I want to leave you with a practical challenge. Identify one area in your life where you can finish the year strong. Maybe it's spending more time in prayer, reaching out to someone you need to reconnect with, or completing a task that you've been putting off. Write it down, pray over it, and commit it to God. This week, take one small step each day toward that goal. Remember, it's not about making massive changes overnight, but about faithfully taking small steps, trusting that God will meet you and give you strength with each one. No matter where you are in life or how this year has been, remember that with God, you are never defeated. Even if things haven't gone as planned, he is a God of fresh starts and new beginnings. Every day is an opportunity to lean on his grace, to press forward and to grow in his love. Let's finish this year with a renewed spirit, knowing that our faithfulness today sets that's the foundation for God's work in our lives tomorrow. Finishing strong isn't about perfection or crossing every T and dotting every I. It's about staying faithful, keeping your heart set on God, and trusting Him to do the rest. Just like Paul, we are pressing on toward the prize, moving one step closer to Jesus each day. Let's embrace this journey with joy, knowing that God is walking with us every step of the way. May we each experience the fullness of His grace. 
we getting ready to pray. But before we begin to pray, please do like, comment and share this powerful message with everyone you know. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification button so you can be notified when we upload more powerful messages like this. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you today with hearts full of gratitude for the year that has been and for the moment still to come. As we approach the end of this year, we ask for your strength and guidance to finish strong. Help us to remember that you are our source of power, our refuge, and our support. Lord, grant us the courage to let go of any regrets or burdens we may be carrying. Help us to forget what lies behind and to focus on what you have set before us. Give us clarity of purpose and the resolve to pursue the goals and dreams you have placed in our hearts. May we not be swayed by doubt or fear, but find our confidence in you. As we move forward, fill us with your Holy Spirit. Empower us to push through weariness and obstacles obstacles, knowing that we are never alone. Remind us that your strength is made perfect in our weakness and that with you, all things are possible. Help us to be diligent in our efforts, trusting that our labor is not in vain when it is done for your glory. We pray for renewed energy and enthusiasm in these final days of the year. May we reflect your love and grace in our actions and interactions. Let our hearts overflow with gratitude as we acknowledge your faithfulness throughout the year. As we prepare for the new year ahead, prepare our hearts and minds for the journey. Help us to embrace the new opportunities and challenges you will present. May we step into the future with hope and anticipation, knowing that you have great plans for us. Lord, I pray that we cultivate a spirit of perseverance and determination. When the journey feels heavy, remind us of the strength found in unity with our brothers and sisters in Christ. Encourage us to reach out for support, to lean on each other in times of need, and to lift each other up as we pursue our goals. Help us to prioritize our spiritual growth as we conclude this year. May we seek you earnestly in prayer and in your word, allowing your truth to anchor us in every situation. Give us the discipline to dedicate time each day to draw near to you, knowing that our relationship with you is the foundation upon which all else stands. Lord, may we also take time to reflect on our blessings, cultivate a spirit of gratitude within us that we may celebrate your goodness and faithfulness. Let our hearts be filled with thankfulness for the past and let that gratitude fuel our desire to serve others and share your love in tangible ways. Lord, we pray for clarity and vision for the year ahead. Open our eyes to the opportunities you have in store for us. Help us to set goals that align with your will and to pursue them with passion and conviction. May we remain flexible and responsive to your leading, always ready to follow wherever you call us. Thank you, Father, for the power to finish this year strong. We trust in your guidance, lean on your strength, and rejoice in your promises. May our lives reflect your glory, not only in these closing days, but throughout the coming year. Lord, we know that each day is a gift from you, and we want to make these final days of the year count. Give us the wisdom to focus on what truly matters. Help us to align our actions, words, and thoughts with your purpose for us, letting go of distractions that may pull us away from your path. Father, may your peace be our anchor in these days, especially when we feel weary or discouraged. Remind us that you walk with us and that your strength is available to us in every moment. Teach us to rely on your power rather than our own, knowing that you equip us to overcome any obstacle we may face. We pray for a renewed spirit within us, a heart of perseverance, courage, and grace. Let your joy be our strength, carrying us forward with hope and determination. And as we finish this year, may we be inspired to live with a spirit of gratitude, embracing each day with thankfulness for all you have done. Lord, we also pray for vision and expectation for the year ahead. We trust that you have good plans for us, plans to prosper us and not to harm us, plans to give us a hope and a future. Help us to step into the new year with boldness, holding on to the faith that you are leading us forward. Lord, we pray for new beginnings in every area where we need renewal, whether it's in our relationships, our work, our faith, or our health. Help us to let go of anything that no longer serves us, releasing old habits, fears, or doubts that hold us back from fully stepping into the plans you have for us. Renew our spirits with a sense of purpose and a heart that beats in tune with yours. May we rise each day with gratitude and a desire to walk with you. Father, thank you for sustaining me throughout this year. Your strength has been my refuge. Lord, grant me the power to finish this year with purpose, perseverance, and focus. Father, help me to let go of past disappointments and press forward with hope. Renew my strength, Lord, so that I may accomplish all that you have called me to do before this year ends. Lord, fill me with wisdom to make the most of the remaining days of this year. Father, guide my steps and order my priorities according to your will as I finish this year. 
Help me, Lord, to release any burdens or regrets that are weighing me down. I pray for clarity of mind and focus, Lord, to stay dedicated to my goals and your purpose. Father, give me the courage to take bold steps toward the dreams you have placed in my heart. Grant me peace, Lord, as I reflect on this year, knowing that you work all things for my good. Father, fill my heart with gratitude for your faithfulness in every season of this year. Lord, empower me to end this year with a heart full of joy, gratitude, and praise. Help me to finish strong in my faith, growing closer to you each day. Lord, give me the discipline to stay committed to my spiritual growth in these final days. Father, protect me from distractions that might pull me away from your purpose. Strengthen my resolve, Lord, to persevere even when I feel weary. Father, grant me endurance to overcome any obstacles that stand in my way. Lord, fill me with hope and confidence in your promises for the year ahead. Give me discernment, Lord, to know what needs to be completed and what I should release. Father, bless my family and loved ones as we close this year together. Lord, let my actions in these final days reflect your love and grace. Help me to finish this year with a forgiving heart, letting go of any bitterness or resentment. Father, grant me strength to serve others joyfully as the year comes to an end. Lord, help me to see your blessings even in the challenges I have faced this year. I ask for renewed energy, Lord, to pursue my goals with purpose and determination. Father, give me patience and perseverance as I press toward the finish line. Lord, help me to trust you more deeply, knowing that you are with me every step of the way. Grant me humility, Lord, to seek help and support when I need it in these final days. Father, fill me with your peace, calming any anxiety or stress I feel about finishing this year. Lord, help me to celebrate even the small victories I have achieved this year. Empower me, Lord, to finish this year as a witness to your goodness and faithfulness. Help me to be a source of encouragement to others who are also striving to finish strong. Lord, renew my joy and passion for the work you have set before me. Father, give me a heart of gratitude as I look back and see your hand in my life this year. Help me to finish strong in my relationships, reconciling where needed and deepening bonds. Lord, fill me with faith to believe that greater things are ahead in the new year. Grant me a fresh vision, Father, for what you have planned for me in the upcoming year. Father, help me to finish this year with integrity, honoring you in all I do. Lord, may my heart be filled with praise and thanksgiving for all you have done in my life. Thank you, Lord, for the power to finish strong. I commit these final days to you, trusting in your strength and guidance. We decree and declare that we will finish this year strong by God's grace and strength. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. According to Philippians 4.13, we decree and declare that every obstacle trying to hinder our progress will be removed in Jesus' name. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? According to Romans 8.31, we decree and declare a renewed strength and resolve to complete every task set before us this year. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. According to Isaiah 40.31, we decree and declare that our hearts are filled with peace, releasing any anxiety or stress. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. According to John 14.27, we decree and declare that the Lord will order our steps as we end this year. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. According to Psalm 37, 23, we decree and declare that God's wisdom will guide us in making the right decisions. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God who gives to all liberally. According to James 1, 5, we decree and declare that our hands are strengthened for every good work and we will not grow weary and let us not grow weary while doing good. According to Galatians 6, 9, we decree and declare that we will overcome every challenge by the power of the Holy Spirit, not by might nor by power, but by my spirit. According to Zechariah 4, 6. We decree and declare that any spirit of fear and discouragement is broken over our lives. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love. 2 Timothy 1, 7. We decree and declare the joy of the Lord is our strength, and we finish this year with gladness. The joy of the Lord is your strength, Nehemiah 8.10. We decree and declare that all unfinished projects will be completed with excellence, and let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us, Psalm 90.17. We decree and declare that God's favor will surround us like a shield, opening doors to blessings. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous, Psalm 5.12. We decree and declare that we walk in divine health as the year concludes. 
He sent his word and healed them. Psalm 107, 20. We decree and declare that we will overcome every spiritual attack against us. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Isaiah 54, 17. We decree and declare that we will be diligent and faithful with the work God has given us. Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with your might. Ecclesiastes 9, 10. We decree and declare that we are protected from all harm and evil as we close out the year. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. Psalm 18, 2. We decree and declare that our faith will increase as we trust God in these final days. For we walk by faith, not by sight. 2 Corinthians 5, 7. We decree and declare that any weariness will be replaced with God's strength. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden. Matthew eleven twenty eight. We decree and declare that our hearts are filled with gratitude as we reflect on God's faithfulness. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Psalm 107, 1. We decree and declare that we finish this year as vessels of God's light, spreading his love. Let your light so shine before men. Matthew 5, 16. We decree and declare that we will complete the assignments God has given us this year. Being confident of this very thing. Philippians 1, 6. We decree and declare that our trust in the Lord will be unwavering. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5, 6. We decree and declare that the Lord's guidance will be evident in our lives. Your word is a lamp to my feet. Psalm 119, 105. We decree and declare that we will be bold in faith, standing firm in God's promises. Be strong and courageous. Joshua 1, 9. We decree and declare that any spirit of procrastination is broken in Jesus' name, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Ephesians 5, 16. We decree and declare that we are empowered to bring glory to God in all we do. Therefore, whether you you eat or drink, 1 Corinthians 10 31. We decree and declare that our families are covered under God's protection. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil, Psalm 121 7. We decree and declare that our financial needs will be met as we trust in God's provision, and my God shall supply all your need, Philippians 4 19. We decree and declare that God's love will overflow in our hearts, and we will share it generously. A new commandment I give to you, John 13 34. We decree and declare that we will Finish this year free from all unforgiveness and bitterness and be kind to one another, tenderhearted, Ephesians 4.32. We decree and declare that God will bring restoration to any broken relationships and he shall turn the hearts, Malachi 4.6. We decree and declare that we will finish this year with clarity and purpose in Christ. For I know the plans I have for you, Jeremiah 29.11. We decree and declare that we are courageous and steadfast, pressing forward with confidence. Be on your guard, stand firm in the faith 1 Corinthians 16 13 we decree and declare that every closed door God has not ordained will remain shut he opens and no one shuts and shuts and no one opens Revelation 3 7 we decree and declare that our minds are renewed daily with God's truth and do not be conformed to this world Romans 12 2 we decree and declare that our thoughts are filled with God's peace and not with worry you will keep him in perfect peace Isaiah 26 3 we decree and declare that we will be generous with with our time, talents, and resources, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Acts 20, 35. We decree and declare that we will walk in holiness, setting a godly example for others. But just as he who called you is holy, 1 Peter 1, 15, we decree and declare that God will grant us a fresh vision and hope for the new year. For with you is the fountain of life, Psalm 36, 9. We decree and declare that we will end this year with a heart full of praise, thanking God for his goodness, enter his gates with thanksgiving, is Psalm 100. Four. Thank you for the gift of this new beginning and for the hope that fills our hearts because of you. May your love be our motivation, your presence, our comfort, and your glory, our highest aim in all that we do this year. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. Amen.